This is the Bad Inputs <laughs> Games Cast. Every week we try to find some interesting tidbits all over the world to talk about. I am the host, this with the most, this Toka Lurker. And I'm with your mother's favorite strummer, CJ Ferg. And how are you doing? I'm good, man. I've been playing I've been playing a lot of games, been watching some movies, I've been reading some books finally. I need to get more I need to get back on that wagon. I've been doing a bunch of shit. How are you? I'm tired. I'm tired? Why? Yeah. I took a tum- I took a tumble at the gym. Ooh. A little sore. That's not good. Uh, right? You're not, not you're not fucking injured or anything. It was right? it was weird. Me and the same teammate went for a rebound. Our legs tangled. I flew in the air and twisted, and the legs just like clapped together on the ground. Oh, I was like, oh no, there no, there's the pain. Ow, I'm dude. Gonna, not gonna go. Dip and going home, and then had to stand up for like three and a half hours, pretty much at a time, not at a time, but like in all together. On a Sunday, I mean, I'm gonna be a little old, old, old man here, but you, you know, be careful. You're gonna break yourself, <laughs> hey, young, young, young blood. You're gonna break yourself. Oh God! No, seriously though. Like, I think. Sorry if there's been interference on the, on the <laughs> mic there. I, I was trying to adjust it so I could like like talk comfortably. Uh, it's basketball, especially as you get older, is gonna be like w- rougher. Like every every elbow or fall or bump you take is just like just a little bump a little bit it hurts a little bit more or at least it lasts a little bit more uh, and, then, and then you get back up eat some ice throw a little beer on it and you're fine who said you I saw ukulele is a failure in every way I, Jesus Christ man hold on I'm gonna I, I, haven't, I haven't had a drink in a while so I'm actually I'll, I'll get some drinks someone tweeted out today Patty he was like oh, I'm still angry about ukulele or <laughs> Why? It's a Twitch streamer. <laughs> Someone's like, I agree. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, it was. And someone asked why also. They said it got more broken and glitchier and glitchier the further that you went to the game. Wow. And someone's like, well, true to a red classic. <laughs> <laughs> it made us a, a N64 game. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Exactly. Yeah, they made it exactly like that. Well, the thing is, is I heard there's going to be there's gonna be patches. They mm-hmm. said they were going to patch the game, that they were going to fix some textures that we're going to do all that sort of stuff so it's like as long as the game they're they're going they're going with the uh the the new generation way of making games but they made an old generation game and so i feel like maybe it's getting a little more uh oh. it just drooped oh did it <laughs> here i got it here we go what? here we go <laughs> uh I think it's getting a little more uh, negativity because it is sort of like an N64 game where it's like that's the first thing you come to your head and when you come when you think of a Nintendo 64 game, it might be glitchy, but it's finished. Mm. So this game is obviously unfinished. Yeah. Uh, and people are upset about it because it's like, oh, it's glitchy and, and uh, you know, all the levels are repetitive. Also, I heard the Casino level is just bad, so I'm not, I'm not excusing that. I heard it's mm. just empty and bad and, like, it's just bad. But... Overall, I heard some like decent stuff about the music and the aesthetics, and so I, I, I definitely think that this game has a chance to be fixed, but there are definitely going to be some stuff like the Rextro annoying shit and the repetitive characters that are probably never going to get over in that sort of sense. Um, what, how is, did you have a thirst to go back and play it? I know it's unfair. If it was 2016, do you think you would have beaten it already? No. Yeah, I, I, that's that wasn't. 2016 had some decent games, and 2017 has better games. Mm-hmm. But for 2016, even ukulele still would have sucked. Still kind of. Oh, I'm gonna read this comment from. Uh, we're on the games subreddit. This comes from Deroni76. I find it funny how the public opinion the game has shifted from it's decent to disappointing to mediocre to a failure in almost every way. I was seeing eight out of ten and seven out of ten reviews all over the place when it initially released. Uh, I think this happens with a lot of Kickstarter games. This happens with a lot of indie games, too. Mm-hmm. Besides the usual AAA games, you see, like, oh, this this is okay, so we're going to give it an A because it's a Bethesda game or mm-hmm. it's Bioware. The name the name carries the weight sort of thing. Yeah, that's why I, 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 even Yacht Club Games, Plague Knight scored a little lower. But that's, like, from, like, one or two reviewers. Yeah. And then Makes sense. everyone else just gave them, like, normal scores. But then as a company... They were never questioned. I think this is what's happening here. I don't think people are really pooping on the game. I think people are more disappointed in Platonic and yeah. what, what they delivered. Especially because it's the same guys that made the original Banjo-Kazooie games. So the it's, same broken-ass games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's so funny now because ukulele suffers from the same problems that Banjo-Tooie did, and we mm. played that. And we yeah. were like, 
Like, I hyped that game up so much because I was like, oh, man, I love this as a kid. And the yeah. more we played it, the more we're like, we're lost. And, and we can't, we don't really know what, there's nothing really to do that is that interesting once you actually get there. And it's only logic, too, that I love the hell out of Banjo-Kazooie, so why not Banjo-Tooie? Which I thought was like a fake game because <laughs> of the way they ended Kazooie. But now well, here we are. We waited three years, three, four years for ukulele, and now it's just wow. dust in the wind. It's gone. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. just no one is not even going to have a chance of standing anywhere for like best indie game for game of the year at the no. VGAs. Bye bye. So long. Fuck you. It's been nice. If, it, if, if there are music awards, maybe it gets one of those. Yeah. Uh, yeah but, but other than that, I mean, yeah, you're not. It's not going anywhere. And it's sort of sad. It dropped off just as fast as it came up. Everyone in this game was really hyped up for quite a long time. And then mm-hmm. yeah, two weeks later, it's just nothing. Like, no, no words. No, I don't even get like I. I actually got a few uh, Kickstarter Platonic emails. Yeah, uh, I got a few like after it was yeah, released. Sorry. Yeah, well, yeah, that is sort of what they. That, that's how I know they're like, oh, we're still patching and updating the game to make sure you know yada yada yada. And I was uh, oh, okay. oh, that's a good idea. Um, I, I since then I've had I've gotten nothing. Like I, I had like two or three emails like I think in a row, like not like day after the next day, but it was just like it was pretty quick. And now yeah, I'm getting nothing. I, I I don't know. I feel I feel sad. I just feel sad for for all the other people that also put their money behind this, and the people at Platonic that really wanted to make something special, and they just maybe didn't adjust well to the to how maybe action adventure games are now. Well, let's do this. I don't know. Is there a possible way we can see what the next biggest game on Kickstarter is? Uh, probably Bloodstain Night of the. Bleacher, whatever, bleach. Well, uh, nah, come ritual. What up, Bloodstain? Ritual. Iga's new game that's coming out. That's the next biggest one I can think of. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to go to Kickstarter. Shenmue? Isn't Shenmue coming out, too? Oh, what did you say? Right, Shenmue 3. Don't say that. Name. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. But you get, you I get, totally get, forgot about Shenmue. Yeah. I can't ever forget after Funhouse, dude. They, they, like, they like ingrained that game in my head. <laughs> And, like, that's why I feel Funhouse got popular as well. Okay. Like, hey, this is a game that you think you want. We're going to show you this is a game that you do not want. Yep. You don't want this at all. Yeah. Because it, like, it's, it's dated, mm-hmm. man. It's, it's dated. There's so many things that, that open world games like Shenmue do so much better now that they, you don't need a cutscene for, you know, stepping down the stairs. Like, who needs exposition for that? They, like, made, they made sure, like... Like as cool as the 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 realistic passage of time was with Shenmue, it's also a realistic passage of time. Mm-hmm. And truly, in a video game, you don't want something like that. You just kind of want that makes for awful, awful pacing, especially in this generation of of <laughs> of, of just like like give it to me now, sort yeah. of. Yeah, or else you, you're an old cuck. <laughs> Discover games, most fun days. Unless you play unless you play Persona Five, because that is a game. That is a Dude, that game is you need some yeah, patience. Nice oh, I love that game. And the flashbacks of the last games cast to this one now. So good. You, you compare the words. <laughs> it's, I mean, it won't, it, I, it's a. I don't know what. What differently can you say about the game from your perspective than I've been spilling about like since like so April? I, yeah. I, I mean, to be to be fair, I mean, pretty much everything you said about the game has sort of just like here it is. Like you were not wrong in any sense, and there's no like I don't have a different feeling of it. It's pretty like. Pretty spot on with Pokemon as far as mm-hmm. getting personas go. I mean, you got you got to talk to them a little bit, got to get the right answers. Uh, but I've never, as far as as far as exposition and dialogue goes, I've never really. I don't remember the last time I was this invested in it. Like I, I, I really feel I connect to the characters. Like like they really did a good job of painting a good picture. So like when they're upset, I feel it. When they say something funny, I laugh. Like it's it's weird. Like I, I don't know. They just don't they. They really took on these characters in a very it, 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 so well that I, I believe it. Like, mm-hmm. it's nice. It's it's really nice to actually be able to pay attention to the characters and not you know mash. So like one of the things I've been noticing Eloy do playing uh, Horizon because the 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 exposition sort of fucked up. Twenty seventeen in gaming. Good lord. <laughs> Uh, he was mashing through a lot of the dialogue of like the the extra cutscenes and all that sort of stuff, and I was like, I I don't blame you because these are just repetitive bullshit stuff. Like it just none of this exposition matters. Where it's like in Persona, almost every word that they say has some because you know their personality almost has like another meaning behind it. Of like, all right, that's like you just saw me today. Like I was analyzing something that like a character was like, oh man, does this other guy think we're thugs? Like I don't want to spoil it for anybody. I was like, does he think we're thugs? 
And I literally sat there for a little bit and I was like, I mean, it just seems like you're sort of projecting because a lot of people think that you're a thug, maybe. And I truly, this guy seems like he's pretty busy with his life, so I think he's not really <laughs> concerned about us. Like, uh, that's, uh-huh. that's, like, who thinks about that shit in a video game? And the funnier part, too, a lot of the dialogue options that pop up are things you accidentally say out loud. You're like, I, why are you asking me? And your character's like, why are you asking me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, should I say this? <laughs> I don't know. It was definitely one of the, uh, one of the things I've yelled a lot. Where they're just like, like, oh, what do I do here? I'm like, I don't, I'm a kid. I don't I'm just know. A goddamn child. I can't. And I'm like, is this stuff for you? And it, aside from like dialogue, it's just oozing, just dripping with style. It's oh like, yeah, I love. This is some of my favorite parts is when you get when you get the all out attack kills and if you do them with different people, they have different things. Like if you, like one of the characters has like a thing that says like like freaking boring, and then you win, and then. <laughs> um, like yeah, they're all. It's just all. It's all charming. That's mm-hmm. that's what I love about it too. Is it's all like every little bit about it as you're going through is charming. Like just even just down to when you're in palaces and you're walking and you have the little purple splashes. Of yeah, paint. exactly. I love that stuff. Little footprints. It's so cool. And then just the mute, like the music goes along with it so well in like every situation. And I've found myself just putting down the controller and listening to the music. <laughs> like like there's the, there's like the one sort of like oh hurry it's it's a uh, sort of. A dire situation, possibly. And it's like the. What are we gonna and do I'm here? Like, so good, and it, and it just also adds to it because you know there's like a pressure situation where they're like, maybe there's not a lot of time, so you're like, you're like, oh man, I need to go. Like this music's like, oh, I need to go, I need to go, I need to do the thing. I, and then you're, t- oh, it's just great. I, guess, I always talk about this, the whole fucking games cast. So how many hours in are you on? I'm now 18 hours in. Okay. I played nine straight hours the other night. <laughs> you fell into Persona Hole. I dude. Yeah. That game. That game is a time usurper. Yeah, it's, and, a, it's a, a fucking time horror. It really is. <laughs> you don't realize it too, because like each day takes about like a full, like depending on what you do, a day can last anywhere from five minutes to an hour yeah and it's pretty crazy that you can like spend that much time and part of it to me is literally just sitting there on dialogue or listening to music and just thinking like it's just oh it's great it's fucking great i i I love the way this this game keeps me on my toes like i'm never i'm never like there's never not something to do it's always like okay you can make a tool okay you can go study Mm -hmm. okay you can go get your confidant shit up okay you can go to mementos and get the you know fucking just fight some shitty shadows Uh, you really you really have to be rushing in this game because like there's no way you have any time to waste nope you have no time to rush nope. there's a, something you have to do every day it, it, I sort of get mad after I come back from a palace that I can't study at the booth right afterwards mm-hmm. like I'm, I'm sort of angry about it. you're that. like ah oh, fuck I just uh, if I only had one HP left I guess I should sleep yeah. <laughs> god damn it Morgana fucking stop telling me what I should do we're almost dead if I want to go to school I'm three hours of sleep I want to go to school I'm three hours of sleep go fuck you <laughs> so on Metacritic yourself it, whatever on Metacritic the score's been sitting at a pretty 93. Woo! Ever, ever since its release, it was like at 95, uh, 93. That is seven points too low. Uh, what else? I know mm-hmm. Legend of Zelda should still be up there. Yeah. PS4 yeah. Games. Horizon Zero Dawn, 89. Resident Evil Biohazard, 86. Neo, 88. Yakuza, 0, 85. And Last Ooh, Guardian, at 80. Steins Gate? You like visual novels? Is that what Steins Gate is? Uh-huh. Oh. So like, eh. Stuff that usually comes on Japan. Am I going to be clicking a lot? Is it going to be kind of one of those that are pressing the X button a lot? Yeah, it's, a, it's like a book. Huh. Like, yeah, that's I, why it doesn't really come out in the West too the, much, those type of things. The, those have... I've only played a couple of those games, and they're mm-hmm. usually like pretty hit and miss. I, I'm definitely... Yeah. I, if I'm going to play a video game, I kind of want some interaction. If I yeah. want to read a book, I'll read a book kind of thing. That's why they only come out in Japan usually. Ah, <laughs> or like on sense. like PSPs and they're really popular on other Vitas. That makes sense. I, I, I mean, as a PSP or like a, a Switch game, like I, I'd be down with it just because it's like a book. It is. Or then, you know what I mean? Like you're like, oh, okay, I, if I've got nothing to do, I can sit here and read something. That's sort of why I got... Uh, speaking of Switch, I sort of... Or play Sakurai Spirit. Sa- Sa- Sakurai Spirit? Yeah. Sakura Spirit? Yeah, Sakura Spirit. That's exa- That's what the... the I almost said Psycho Pass game. Steins Gate game is. I think it's a Psycho Pass games like that also. Oh, is it really? Like Just a visual novel click, sort of thing? Click, well, less pornography. Legend of Zelda <laughs> Breath of the Wild. Moving on to the Nintendo stuff. Oh, man. Or actually, no. Let's stay, let's stay, let's stay PlayStation. Okay. Persona 5 was cool. Mm-hmm. Horizon Zero Dawn was cool. Mm-hmm. We have a few games coming out at the end of this year that are going to be pretty nice. Mm-hmm. But happening in the middle of summer is E3. Uh, 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 the burp. <laughs> and so, what do you think will happen? Ooh. 
I know with PlayStation or with just in general? With PlayStation. I believe they are presenting on on media showcase June twelfth, Monday. God damn it. <laughs> the middle of the week. Jesus Christ. Here it goes again. Oh, we love E three. We 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 love it so much, so we just don't get to rest <laughs> for like four days straight. Yeah. Just hear every bit of news. You gotta wake up. Oh my, what? Two a.m. Tuesday. Oh, in the UK. Oh, oh thank God. damn. Oh, thank God. Sorry, yeah. UKers. That, that sucks. That's really shitty. I, I mean, yeah, we got we got sort of lucky. We got the six p.m. slot over here in the West. So we're gonna cross out uh, Last of Us two. They might. I mean, they might they, show they were, more. They already announced that pretty much. Yeah, but I, I mean, Spider Man. Maybe, maybe they'll show like gameplay. They they should show more Spider Man because we haven't heard Spider Man since the last E three. Like we haven't seen that much since then. Oof. So I would. Um, God of War, Death Stranding. They also need to bring out Kingdom Hearts three. Dude, it's been four years. Ha, 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 you need to, you need to show ha, people ha, some stuff. Ha, ha, I you think they're going to. They have to. They showed some screen. There's been some screenshots like over the past six months. Like, there's been at least some sort of traction as far as like the game being shown. But yeah, I'm I'm kind of more airing on your side though that I like. They haven't shown really that much. I haven't. I honestly forgot about it. <laughs> I honestly did. Yeah, and if maybe if they show it here, that'd be really impressive. Okay. But hopefully at the Square Enix panel, it'll be two point nine HD prologue ending <laughs> log middle of the climax scene three. The beginning. Act four. Yeah. And so, <laughs> so hopefully either here and then I'll take another swing at the fences for the Square Enix uh, keynote. Hopefully they'll talk about it. Hopefully, but. Damn, this is a big stage for these so-called games for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games that they might be talking about on the stage of E3. Yeah, that's all. That's a lot. And then make it ten because Bloodborne two. <laughs> I want it so is that, bad. Is, is that going to be your guess? Yeah, is, Sony? That is my guess. And we're going to put this down guess. on a card. I, I really want cool. it. We did predictions last time, so we might do. So the game you're guessing is Bloodborne two. I, 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 I honestly can't imagine that they're not going to do it. Just, just only because. After Dark Souls 3, for some reason, like, two mm. other Souls games. <laughs> sort of like Souls whatever, Souls E-ish Got pooped games. out. Yeah. So, there's Neo is one of them, and then the most recent one is, one is The Surge. Which, I've heard has some balance issues, as some, like, like the bosses are sort of ridiculously OP, or they're really easy. Like, there's, like, not really a good thing with that. But, mm. like, but just from the hype alone of these games, and I think... The more I've been watching Bloodborne, the more I'm like, this game needs a sequel. It it needs a sequel. It's one of those few. Like, if Bloodborne was all by itself, it could last and it'd be fine. And and to me, it's like more on my top three now. But they need to they just need to make fucking Bloodborne. T- you imagine all the shit they can put on that. Like, I'm I'm completely fucking fangirling right now. Like, I, I, if you if that game shows up at E3, I said this on Twitter. I will cry. I will straight <laughs> cry. I will it be was- so happy. But it's special. It's a lot of people's sleepers for the year that it didn't even come out. That it still gets like high recognition for the game that it is, even though it's like two years old, almost pretty much now. Yeah, it's, three, it's almost three years old. God, three. Oh yeah. lord, yeah. Really. It came out twenty fourteen, right? I've been playing, I've been speedrunning this game for fuck. <laughs> but then it they would blow the roof off, off the entire conventions. All the other sisters and consoles and brothers in there have no choice but to shut up yep. because everyone wants to watch this trailer for Bloodborne 2 and you'll see the letters and old gothic style text pop up on the screen and, and, if, and if they pull the fallout and they're like hey it's coming out December <laughs> oh my god oh my god I, uh, uh, there would be I would have to I would get banned from Twitch because there would be too much jizz on the camera oh, I'm gonna say we're gonna get a full on title for God of War I'm gonna play it safe I'm gonna say we're gonna get a nice little title and hopefully Damn, I think they said 2018. No, it should be 2017. They're not just going to do the really popular thing and just, you know, after the fourth or fifth game, they're just like, we're just going to rename it the original name. Mm. And so what would, you, what would you call it? God of War, Greek, <laughs> R- Rush, Apathe, Apathema, 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 okay, here we go. Theta, you... Theta, God of War. <laughs> He's in a frat now. <laughs> Tut, <tut> God of War. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, bro, bro, you don't even know. Fucking went over to Poseidon's house. That fucking douche, that fucking douche took my spot at the beer pong line. I was like, bro, 
Bro, I'm gonna gouge your goddamn eyes out. You gotta move, bro. There's a, there's a this, list for this, a reason. This is this is theta. What'd you say? This is a, theta. Whatever the U is. Theta, theta. theta again. Yeah, yeah. This is theta. Um, U theta. Theta also. Theta. <laughs> Did you say theta also? All, also. All, all, alta. Ota. I can't. I can't think of a U I, word. I know like five letters in the Greek alphabet, and I think I learned them all from like Sonic Adventure. Speaking of alphabets, we have Nintendo stuff, and Breath of the Wild is still sitting at the top of the Metacritic ladder at 97 with the meta score and the user score of 8.4. And it's gonna get some DLC too. It's the number one best Switch game, the number one most discussed Switch game, the number one most shared Switch game of 20 years. Yep. Out of the like 20 fucking games that are out right now, yeah, it's probably gonna be. I, I mean, how's it faring in Switchland, Colin? Uh, it's, it's better it's, than Trump land. Uh, let's not get into that. <laughs> uh, uh, I uh, it's it's pretty barren. I, I mean, it, it, like like honestly, it's barren. Like if, if I if I went and I bought Minecraft, I'm pretty I'm looking for some fucking games. Like, yeah, Minecraft it, though. I'm excited. Like I, I think this is the reason I got it was like story mode or just Minecraft the game. Well, so it has it has adventure mode on there. No, not story mode. No, oh, okay, no, not story mode. Uh, I might get that at some point, but I, I kind of want to get used to how Minecraft works in general because I've I have Minecraft a couple of times, but I always like picked it up for like a few weeks and then just pick, pick, like put it back down. So I feel like this is definitely on the Switch. I'm probably gonna play it like right before I go to bed or something like that, just for like an hour and just sort of chill out and because because it's really relaxing when you play it. Like it's just the music is very soothing. Uh, it, you don't really have to think too much other than just like gather supplies and mm. it's sort of like. It's sort of tranquil in that way, like people, like how some people compare it to like doing laundry or cleaning, where it's just sort of like, you just sort of lose your, your mind in it, kind of thing. I don't know. Um, but Switch is, Switch is fine. I mean, Mario, I've been playing a shit ton of Mario Kart 8, which I wasn't, I don't know, I'm more inclined to play on that than the, the Wii, because I can take it on the go, and it's not a big clunky gamepad that I have to maneuver around, like, the controls are nice. Mm, are you uh, using the Switch more, or using the... Oh yeah, because you're, you're playing it on the go, so you're probably just using the... Just holding it as it is, right? Not, yeah. Not broken apart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, well, so I'm playing it... I mean, I'm playing it on the go, in quotes, because I'm... Honestly, it feels more comfortable to just sort of, like... Like, what, what we're kind of doing right now is you're, like, showing some, some Minecraft stuff. Is like... Like, I love to watch, like, a stream or a YouTube video or a TV show. Well, not really a TV show because I want to concentrate on that. But, like, something, something kind of, like, just noise in the background. It's something I can look up at and... And distract myself from my Switch once in a while. I'm literally, I like playing my Switch like in my bed, or I play it here on the couch. Mm. Like, it's just, it's just sort of nice that way. The Pro Controller is great, and it's not bad. But I don't know, man. Something about playing on that Switch, the way like it's like out of dock mode and it's handheld mode. I just fucking love it. Like mm. it just, it feels so natural and comfortable. Like I, I yeah, yeah. That, that's that's that would be my biggest reason to buy is like there's a lot of games like Thumper just came out which is like a really Thumper, cool rhythm yeah. game that's on VR too right and that's on PSVR and, and they trip the fuck out well so I heard that they like on this on this one they sort of like zoomed it out a little bit more and mm-hmm. they made it so it's a little more switch friendly because on the VR if you you've seen it like yeah. it's pretty close up when you're mm-hmm. like when you're next to the scarab looking thing it's like right up in your face yeah so they like made it a little farther away so you can kind of like see what you're doing especially on like a smaller screen. Um, but uh, it has a lot of good games, but it's like a lot of games. It's just like definitely if you're not into that, it's it's not gonna work. Like if you're not a, in a fucking like a rogue type of game, like you're probably not gonna play Tumble Seed or Binding of Isaac. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you, I mean, God, if you're not okay, if you're buying a Nintendo Switch and you don't like platformers, you bought the wrong fucking console. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but yeah, they have. I mean, that's pretty much what you're getting. But they're they're adding some just great games what the fuck is this this is this is, is this tumble seed yeah i still haven't actually like played the game i've heard a lot about it though potentially the next roguelike that takes the world by storm i heard it's really difficult to master northern lion yeah. it looks it looks hard it looks whoa oh so okay i see it i understand okay so like the it looks like there's you're supposed to kind of tip it mm. to like get it the, out of the way it's a marble rolling game and also a roguelike How i guess you get powers Oh yeah, you do. Yeah, and then so it must if it's roguelike, then it must be random every time you go up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laterally in a world that hates you. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. Like I love the art style of it. Art style's cool. I just hate the fact you're just moving up. Oh, you don't like that? Nah. I kind of wish you could like sort of dungeon crawl and all that sort of stuff. Just not elevator it. Like if you want to just envision it, it's a. That's it, it's a interesting. It's interesting. That looks different. It looks, yeah, it's. It's it's interesting. <laughs> it looks like it looks like Brick Breaker, like the Brick Breaker platform. If it was like extended across the screen, and instead of hitting things back and forth, you're just sort of balancing a weird eyeball 
away from uh, obstacles. It's so, it's different. So what can we expect from Nintendo at E3? Oh, at E3. Well, they did say. I mean, they have the, Ma- the Mario Odyssey thing. Like, VR Mario. Oh, just VR Mario. VR Mario. Uh, v Mario. No. no. VR Mario. <laughs> <laughs> if, if Nintendo is smart, they'll stay the hell away from VR. How? I, Star Fox VR. Tumble Seed VR, Star Fox VR, Fatal Frame VR. What else can they? Fatal find? Frame VR sounds awesome, but also terrifying. Um, de- uh, <laughs> so Destiny. Um, <laughs> yeah, so shit's not coming to the Switch. <laughs> they have this Legend of Zelda VR. Yeah. That should be scaling the mountains. I don't know. Scaling it's, the mountains with the headset on. Well, so we can talk about how the fact that so there's a few people at it, you know different gaming companies and and. Uh, journalism places have been playing a little bit of Street Fighter the the Ultra Street Fighter HD remix thing that's coming out to the Switch and they have the uh, the Hadouken mode I don't know what it's called Sets or whatever oh yeah the VR mode yeah I don't know I don't know what's called but it's yeah it's like the first person Hadouken and you can, you can do Shoryukens you Hado can do VR? It's, it's something like Way of the Hado I think that's what it's called Way of the Foot yeah I, don't, I think that's what I want to say Wandering Warrior VR Way of the stinky ass gigantic foot Ryu has uh but it's very the Joy Cons are pretty buggy with it. Um, it doesn't seem very interesting. Uh, it's they apparently just kind of throw random enemies at you rather than like actually fight. Like it just it it, it feels like a, like a worse Power Ranger simulator where you just you're just kind of like you're just like hitting the putties and they just sort of like no they go off. No then. offense to the developers, I know they all worked hard on that, mm-hmm. but it looks like the the bonus round at the end of a level. Yes. In a game, in a normal video put, game. When they should have put just beating up the car in there instead, yeah. which they apparently took out, which sort of sucks. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah. So, yeah, that's how I compare it. And say, like, oh, you have 30 seconds to get these extra points. Use your switch controller to so punch and mm-hmm. kick and sweep the leg. And it's, and it's also one of those things is, like, the thing you're mentioning is not really, like, there's no audience for something like that because it's just, like, we've already gotten the audience we need, and if they're going to do some random story mode thing mm. with the way of the hotto then it's like all right fine we can deal with this for 30 seconds like mm. it's no big deal but if you make it its own mode it, it, it's sort of it's like who is it for because it's like if, it, if it's easy enough for a kid to play then maybe they'll like it but then it's sort of buggy and you know that the street fighter faithful that who actually play this game like the, the you know the fucking the well, ball rogs of the world the, the the snake eyes of the world motion like, controllers never left that's why Colin <laughs> and they will never leave they will never it will never he will never ever let them leave. yeah yeah fucking Nintendo is all about Jesus Christ but I think I hate that that's gonna be probably a fact until we get VR gloves fuck we have three good games though mm-hmm. right in front of us that we should expect to come out mm-hmm Arms in the round summertime. Yeah, that's coming out. Pretty, that's coming out pretty soon. It's coming out in like a couple of weeks. Platoon two should be coming out. Uh, what was that September, September or August, something like that? Yeah. Uh, something like that. Yeah, I want to say September. Super Mario Odyssey in the winter. Yeah, so they, yeah. So they spread it out really well. Do you envision any other games? We can kind of go wild with this one. The Sony list, there were 10 games. is kind of too fucking many. That's or nine lot. games. That's a lot. It's, it's hard to make a prediction. For this one, the list is wide open. Anything you want. Hmm. You want another Donkey Kong Country? See, I'm, you want another Metroid? I, we, I was trying to set up the intermediate place with Metroid. We might do that a little later. Let's see. <laughs> you want, you want, uh, goddamn. Who knows what they could put on there? Uh, I, I, uh, Melee HD? That's not coming. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, I'm gonna just, if it's coming, it's not coming in 2017. I'll tell you that right now. They're not. They, they, they're not. <laughs> Because it's it's one of those things where they're just not like look at those games. That's, yeah. Those are the games I'm worried it's about. They're not worried about a fifteen year old game. It's definitely not on the list. No. What else could happen? There's so wait a minute. I we mean, have I, a cheat sheet. We have a cheat sheet. We have handheld delivered from us. Yeah. yeah. From oh come in. <laughs> Hi. Who is this? Uh, I am uh, I am Mr. Mino today. You're here for e- Nintendo E3 uh, presentation or invitation? Uh, of course. I'm here to, to post post nice about it and also complain about really innocuous things. All right, I'm going to sign up so we can go to E3, Nintendo E3 presentation invite. It's online. We're all invited, you cucks. <laughs> okay, so here we go. <laughs> June 13th. Nintendo forced me here. I'm a eunuch. Get out, eunuch. <laughs> <laughs> On June thirteenth at nine p.m., the only hire Unix. Oh, at nine a.m. Pacific time. What? Ah, tune in to e 3nintendocom for a look at Nintendo Switch games for twenty seventeen, including Super Mario Odyssey. So, does that mean Splatoon two, 
Mario Odyssey, mm-hmm. and ARMS. <laughs> I also think Pokemon. You think Pokemon I, I, Shooting Stars I, is coming out? I, I, <laughs> I think they're going to show something. I, I think uh, if they're talking about games that are going to come out in 2017, they said Pokemon was going to be one of them, right? Mm-hmm. Um, well... Uh, or, or, or was that just like upcoming or like TBA or yeah. whatever in that say? Oh, it might have been TBA. Um, it's still a possibility. I, I, I guess I don't. I guess if, it, if it's only games for 2017, then maybe not. Um, but it just feels. I devil. I don't know. Would it be I, too I'm soon? A little, I'm a little on the fence because it's like it's popular enough and hyped up enough, especially on the Switch, that they could reveal it right now and people yeah. would be really excited. But also, like Sun and Moon is still out. It's apparently not coming in 2017. There could be other games like we kind of talked about earlier, like Animal Crossing is sort of like getting some attention as far as like Nintendo just goes in general. Or like, another Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers game, oh some shit like that. You think of Mystery Dungeon 2? Oh my god, dude. I, I've, I haven't played the first Mystery Dungeon, but I've only heard good things about it. So mm-hmm. I, would, I would pick that up in so a, like, a heartbeat. Maybe a Pokemon spinoff, but not yet. Because I think, Pokemon. How, how big of a deal do you think they want to make for the first console Pokemon adventure. Oh, not like that it. Pokemon Stadium bullshit. I'm, I'm talking real... I'm not talking GameCube player bullshit either. I'm talking <laughs> real <laughs> Pokemon video game. Yeah, uh, it, it, dude, it's going to have to be pretty big because... So like a Pokemon Direct? They, yeah. E3? That's E3 is a pretty big stage, no, too. Uh, they, I mean, I think they've definitely given into the Mario Odyssey uh, treehouse yeah. thing this year. For, so I, I, I've, I've accepted that this is going to probably be... This Direct is... De- or Direct... This E3 presentation is going to probably be probably about 70% Odyssey, and then they're going to show uh, a few. They're going to probably do, like, maybe a few indie games here and there. They're probably not going to, like, demo them the way they did at Treehouse with Zelda. They're probably just going to, like, show a little sizzle reel or something like that, and then they'll play They'll play a lot of Odyssey. They'll play some Splatoon. They'll play some ARMS, as they said. And, like, I think they're just going to show maybe a few teasers of some other games, but... I, I don't know. Like my my heart wants Metroid, but I but I'm trying to ignore my bias <laughs> and go with something that seems semi realistic. So like, I mean, the first thing you do see on our invitation is that hat from the Mario Odyssey trailer. Yeah. So you know what I mean, you maybe you're not lying. Uh, you're not lying. You're just saying it's gonna be Odyssey centric. Yeah, they, they'll probably demo a lot of like they'll probably just show New Donk City because that's gonna be where you start. Like that's that's probably gonna be your hub world. I bet something. Oh, I still can't believe that's the name. Um. Yeah, that's just yeah, that's it's just it's too close to something phallic. Oh, anyway, uh, it's I don't know. It's it, it's it's honestly hard to say. It it, it really is. I I, I they could do a Pokemon thing. Um, it, it seems like the direction they're going is um, definitely Animal Crossing. I also mm-hmm. honestly wouldn't be surprised if they show up with another Mario Party game. God, I hope so. I, that's, I, like I think that's what one. I want actually. Yes, yeah, just Mario Party Eleven. Make it whatever. Take the thing out the switch, but well, yeah, that's the other part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you'd get. I mean, you'd get an immediate two player. So I, I definitely think for the switch thing, if you like, if they do some sort of split switch mm. uh, Mario Party thing, yeah. it might work. Like somehow mix together the Joy Cons and the controllers, like they did for Mario Kart. Good. Just in a Mario Party game. Maybe and don't make it one versus four. Don't try to squeeze in five people. Yeah, just no, four. No, no, no. That's completely fine. And they, the only thing I, I can see them definitely doing is doing some like really bad gimmicky mini games with the with the Joy Con. Oh, like boy. there's gonna be some that are gonna be hit and miss. Like I, yeah. I, I totally see that. Eat the sandwich. Eat Bowser's sandwich. Yeah. Ex- oh god damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Suck his dong. <laughs> I can see or like or like having to like dart at balloons or something like that or like I or I don't know. Maybe they'll do the. Maybe they'll do like a Mario version of Yahtzee, and you're just fucking like, oh, how many dogs do I got? Oh, I'm just like, oh, feel the feel the feel the feel around there. Yeah. How many are struggling? How many balls are moving around in your hand there? <laughs> it's it's literally the only thing I've I've noticed. You know, actually, I'm I'm actually gonna give the HD Rumble a little credit here because I played mm-hmm. I, I I got the Blaster Master demo last night, the Blaster Master Zero, because I was curious. I heard some good things. I played it for five minutes, and I was like, I'm buying this fucking game. Mm-hmm. Um. So the intro starts, and it's actually one of the coolest examples of the HD Rumble besides the little marble game on the 1-2 Switch. Mm. Uh, you take off in a spaceship, and it and it sort of fades out the jets. Like, the jets, like, power up, it's like, and it really, like, hits hard on the Joy-Cons, but, like, as it takes off, it, like, slowly fades off the Rumble. Like, and that was really cool. I was like, that was one of the most impressive things I've seen with the Joy-Con. Mm. But other than that, I, I do want to see more... Uh, what, what, what are they fucking call? Yeah, HD Rumble. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do want to see more incorporation of the HD Rumble because I think it is a cool 
Uh, it's it's like it's like going to uh, like the the Honey I Shrunk the Kids presentation at fucking Disneyland, and there's the the wind that blows at your feet. Like it's sort of like so you like know a- it you know it's a gimmick, but you're like oh, you're like ooh, ooh, I'm in the I'm in the fucking yeah. <laughs> like it's sort of lame, but at the same time, it's like it adds just a bit of a touch. Especially when I was playing Blaster Master, I was like, okay, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sort of down with this. And then the music was great. And Blaster Master in general has just been a solid franchise over the past few years. Yeah, Holy shit. it's always pour me a double shot. I didn't know. I didn't know you had those in there still. Oh, Holy shit. What Blaster Master? No, the shot. That's all. I was like, oh shit. Oh I didn't yeah, it. yeah, I didn't. Oh, so you poured me two shots? Yeah, on accident. <laughs> I was like, oh, that filled up fast for some oh, reason. Jesus Christ. Oh, do you want here? Oh, oh you're, you're taking some for me. Oh, I see. Yeah, that should be enough. Yeah, I always see Master Blaster. Blaster Master. <laughs> fucking Stevie Wonder. Oh, I always see those speed runs. Is that song, Master Blaster? And jamming. Jamming until the break of dawn. No, I don't know. Jumping and jumping and jumping and No, fucking, uh, I don't like it, but <laughs> everyone else does. I've only heard one Stevie Wonder album. I always see Blaster Master at uh, uh, GDQ's. That's a lie. I only saw them like the early like 2013, 2013 like 14 GD. They don't, they don't run them anymore? Nah. How come? I, was, I don't know. It was ran like on the NA, NES blocks. So like not the best time slot. And it's kind of a slower paced game, I guess, compared to other speed games. I was like, what the f- This is what? It's weird, man. It's like, it's like Metroidvania-ish where it's like, well, not really. It seems a little more straight up, but it's like... There's a lot of different pathways you can go, and then you can get out of your your tank and yeah. then explore, and then that's like a whole other mode. Like I, I had never even looked at, like literally not even glanced at a Blaster Master game. I knew mm. it was an old game because yeah. if you heard if you heard the name Blaster Master, you're like, there's no way that game came out in the 2000s just because <laughs> somebody must have got that name beforehand, or I got the CB Wonder name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that too, that is a possibility. God, you know what? You know what scares me about E3? Uh-huh. Any company can just come out no matter what time of the day it is, no matter what day of the week it is, mm-hmm. and steal the show. That's very true. Like, like when Xbox did with Scorpio yeah. last year? Exactly. They uh, tricked us. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no one saw that shit coming, dude. You know, remember, do you remember how much we freaked out when they fucking revealed that? Yeah, they were about to have a Microsoft VR home console. Well, we skip forward to uh, May, a couple weeks before E3, and the Scorpio. Was that the Xbox S, whatever the hell they want to call it? The Xbox One S? Yeah, that is uh, the uh, complete opposite of what they were bragging about. So unless I'm wrong about what they wanted to reveal, mm-hmm. or the Xbox Scorpio, as we were kind of chronologically looking at it throughout the year, they cut down on what the system can do. As in the VR was the first thing gone from the website in January, like 2017. It's, it was gone. It took it yeah. off. And so like, Ooh. so now we, uh, now we're here. Mm. We're waiting. New console could possibly come out in the next couple of years. Yeah. No new Halo, like main story Halo games. What could people possibly see from the Xbox? And the confirmed games for the conference so far are Crackdown 3, Sea of Thieves, and State of Decay. That's it? Yeesh. Two. Yeah. Uh, is see if is, is, is Thieves that like online game that's sort of cartoony yeah I think it's okay. PC also I mean, oh. they got all those YouTubers to play it at the, yeah last year yeah 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 that was a that was not one of the best presentations oh, um, oh. Uh, the, the fact that it took VR makes this very interesting for me mm. it makes it very interesting and not in a good way <laughs> in a I, now I'm sort of not an. It's sort of almost like the PlayStation Pro. Mm-hmm. It feels very like, why are you coming out with this console? If mm-hmm. it's if it's if it's ridiculously powerful, the way they've been describing it with all the teraflops and all that sort of stuff, great. But just as we've talked about several times on this podcast about graphics, mm-hmm. they really only probably paint a picture of your video game for about 15 minutes at most, and then you're like, all right, man. Where's my gameplay? What's my objective? Mm. How's the pacing? How's the yada yada yada? I, I I don't really understand why it's coming out truly now because it's you have an Xbox One which is doing honestly just fine. The Switch has sort of been a lightning in a bottle, but that's going to die down in a few months. It'll pick back up as like as Splatoon comes out and Arms comes out and and Mario comes out. But honestly, like, you're at a steady pace of second place behind PlayStation, and... And they still will continue to be at this rate. They will be. I'm just wondering... 
what this Scorpio is going to be at the end of the day. And if it's at a price point of like, if they throw that shit out there for a PS3 price, you can expect that to not get bought by pretty much anyone unless there has to be, there has to be some sort of mode or some sort of way you play the game or some, or like the craziest graphics I've ever seen in my entire life for me to think that this is going to be something that's going to make them a ridiculous amount of money and sell them a ton of units off the bat. Because I, I just feel like there's going to be too many people that already have an Xbox One and so and like put their put their heart and soul in it. Because like you're selling an Xbox Elite customizable controller for $150. You have all these different skins for your Xbox Ones. Mm-hmm. You have all these different customizable options. You have great games. You're getting your library up as far as like backwards compatibility goes you're you're putting on a system where you can take your xbox games and play them on a pc yeah and like, that's kind of the best thing they have going for them is that backwards compatibility unfortunately true, true. so maybe what so you think they're trying to capitalize on on that and maybe no maybe, that'd be, that's just the best thing they have going for them is no, the backwards I mean, compatibility <laughs> that's the most i see about xbox i don't see stuff about like triple a games mm-hmm. i don't see anything any exclusives blowing up for them compared no. to what Nintendo and Sony had been doing the first half of 2017. Especially since Halo 5 was pretty much a big flop. Yeah. Like, comparatively to Halo. Didn't really push any consoles for them either. Mm-hmm. So Not now really. it's... Um, Back to square one sort of thing. Uh, what is, what, uh, we're we're going to see probably the same dumbass games that we keep seeing from Microsoft in the last couple of years for E3. Mm-hmm. You know, we'll probably get a Sunset Overdrive 2 for some reason. Yeah. Uh, I've, heard it's, I've heard that that is a great game. Uh-huh. It just maybe wasn't marketed all that well. Yeah, I heard it's a great game too. That's why it falls upon deaf ears. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you take that, Sun SO lovers. <laughs> They're like, oh, well, I'm still playing that right now. But at the same time, like, if you look what at the Titanfall, if we look at the the, the oh fuck, <laughs> hey, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna send our child out to die in the month of October. It, oh, it, honestly, if they if they actually release it as an exclusive, it might have not died as fast. If they released it in the spring, it would have been fine. That's true too. <laughs> yeah, they they could have they could have waited another six months and they would have been just fine. I was gonna praise the games with gold list, but this one kind of. Lego Star Wars, Thor, Cross of Osiris. Oh, yeah, two out of four of those are good games. Temple of Osiris. And you, is, that, uh, is that like a like a in the middle Xbox like Tomb Raider game? What the fuck is that? It's kind of. Uh, yeah, you, do you know Hitman Go? No. Okay. It's that like, exists. Uh huh. It's like that, but for Tomb Raider, and then somehow it's pretty good it as well. Sounds every time I hear Go at the end of something, it always sounds like a mobile game. You got Rise, Son of Rome. I, <laughs> that game, I was, that I was game was revealed in like 2012 uh, for was, the Connect or whatever the fuck it was. That was Games with Gold. You got Walking Dead Season 2 for free. Dark Sires for free. Season Creed for free. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying, Xbox fans. I'm trying. I, I, I do. I, I need confirmed community support for all these games that are coming out and everyone will be happy because I'm sure a majority of Xbox owners also own a PS4 and a Switch slash Wii U. Hey, I'm not going to try to put you on the spot here, but I am trying to prove a point. Mm-hmm. Name me five exclusives on the spot for for Xbox. Uh, Forza, Horizon... No, I said Forza. Yeah, Horizon, yeah, Forza. Yeah. Yeesh. Yeah. Uh... <sighs> Let's see. Well, Halo. Halo, yeah, yeah. Halo 5. Okay. Uh, it was, I'm, gonna, I'm still going to say Tomb Raider, even though it's a time exclusive. A little Tomb Raider. I'll give you that. Project right. Gotham Racing. <laughs> oh, my God. Right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, sure, that, sure, that counts. <laughs> and, um, damn. I can't believe oh, oh, that stupid, the stupid, uh, yeah. <laughs> that stupid. He started <laughs> Stupid robot one. What is that? That was, that was made by the dude that made Ma- my number nine. No, can, can, oh, what, what? What fucking game did you make that is on Xbox exclusive? Uh, I see. I can't remember the name. Yeesh. Uh, what's his, what's his name? I can, you can, yeah, uh, Inafune. Kenji okay. Inafune. Inafune. Xbox exclusive. This game. Da, 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 Recore. Oh! Oh, I totally <laughs> forgot about that game. It was, it that was, game must not have been that good. It was announced 2015. It looked really cool. I was actually interested in it, and I completely just... Oh, wow. So uh, we're, we're, we'll uh, end uh, on better news. Oh, Microsoft, you guys will be fine, Ethan. Don't worry. I mean, I'm glad um, you named them, but you still sort of proved my point. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I had to Google one of them. Yeesh. Uh, Far Cry 5. Oh, yeah. Red Dead Redemption 2. Both are going to have a Western setting. 
No, that's true. And uh, luckily for us, Reddit is a place where people will go and forego the contractual obligations they have for fucking <laughs> focus grouping stuff God, and reveal it all. And I had to screen cap it just in case it got deleted. Yeah, yeah. unless you can have this. <laughs> so uh, he didn't put himself as like Xbox CEO, Redditor, whatever. Anyway. So with your gaming prowess, what you know now, Red Dead Redemption 2. If you had to explain it, you know, in a few sentences, what does it look like to you? Ooh. And it, will it be game of the year material? Oh yeah. Then I will read oh, off. Yeah. Then I'll read off what I know about Far Cry Five. Okay. Oh, oh. So first, okay. So if you had never played a Red Dead Redemption game, expect uh, a lot of killing, a lot of sadness, a lot of and, and a good like like good exposition, but amazing attention to detail. Um. No. Immers- immersion that I can still probably put in the top 15 of all of the games I've ever played in my life um, and a great attention to the music and how that can really basically separate a great a good game from a great game they, they made sure to fit the music not only with what you were doing but where you were mm-hmm. and I, I, I really have never experienced something like that. And then expect Grand Theft Auto like combat controls with some more ornery sort of uh, talking and humor and definitely more. Uh, what you say, boy? Yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot more just, just straight up racism. Oh, dude, that definitely. Oh, they straight up are like, oh, all fucking Native Americans are savages, those pieces of shit. Like, that's. Native Americans? Yeah. <laughs> Which is like what it was. Manifest Destiny was like huge back then. Mm. Uh. It's I'll honestly expect a game that that fills all facets of a game that you would. Like. I I literally think Red Dead Redemption is one of the best all around games I had ever played in my life. And then imagine the power that they have with Grand Theft Auto Five. Mm-hmm. Mash that with a history breaking GTA Four and Red Dead Redemption One. Yeah, that's true. Merge that together, and we got. Game of the G O T Y candidate, oh, game I, of the I year candidate. So. It's, I, I, I'm not. I'm really not sure it's going to win it over Breath of the Wild. Mm-hmm. If it, oh. if, uh, well, Breath of the Wild is going to win this year. So if, if that comes out next year, then it's got a chance. If it comes out, if it comes out in like the end of 2017, isn't that? Isn't? Oh, you're right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is it? Doesn't that? That still counts under the 2018 Game of the Year nominees, correct? Yeah, Witcher Three won it twice for the same fucking game. Yeah, that's true too. That's the tequila talking. <laughs> fucking one blood and wine. <laughs> that's no, oh, that's funny. Oh, uh, look at me! I, my my daughter won the pageant. Oh, she won the pageant. She's five and a half. That's exactly <laughs> what the fuck just happened. That is very true. Yeah, <laughs> her, her little sister also is a fucking pageant queen. You need to know that. The little the DLC we added in the nine months we had a fucking kid. Um, so I want to compare this because everyone kind of freaked out yeah, when they yeah, heard yeah. Far Cry Five is going to be in the West. It's going to be. It's pretty cool. It's in Montana. So this comes from <laughs> Reddit user Far Cry Five tester. It's a throwaway Reddit account, of course. That's why he made that username. Yeah. And he got paid around hundred to hundred twenty five dollars. Oh, almost cute. God, damn had that it. shot calling for it. I'm <laughs> such an idiot. All right. Anyway. And yeah, he got paid around hundred hundred twenty five dollars for being in this focus group. And he was excited, and because he didn't know what the group was going to be, turns out it was Ubisoft. So oh. saw he thought he was going to see some stuff for the new Assassin's Creed, but this was for Far Cry Five. Oh. He's a fan of three and four, but he tolerated Primal, so he's in a good standing, I believe, ah. as a as a gamer. Yeah, I'm, I'm sad that game never took off. Also, what happened to that other game that was supposed to be the Breath of the Wild? Or, I'm sorry, the Far Cry Primal Beater. Uh, where you're like a like a mage or like a oh uh, that didn't come out yet oh yeah oh it's not out yet oh no, okay, okay okay no yeah, wonder why like all right no wonder why I didn't hear mm-hmm. shit about it so for Far Cry Five they the idea this is all before what happened today the date of May twenty second by the way this happened around May twentieth when the post was made okay. The idea of doing it in Montana was a predominant idea. Was dominant? <laughs> was a predominant idea like oh, many of oh, you? Pre- oh okay okay okay. Like many of you, we were kind of blah, blah, blah. They showed us basic promotional videos featuring heavily, heavily religious angles of the evil. A person mm. walking through a town that was completely empty only to walk into a church to discover the congregation is made up of everyone in town staring in rapt attention at a shirtless lunatic leader so brandishing, like <laughs> brandishing an assault rifle in one hand and a Bible in the other. Yep, I'll, I'll last too. 
a little bit. At, at, least, they, at least shades of it. Every uh, Even at the time, I wondered how they're going to handle the presentation of religious uh, zealotry to the type of middle America that purchases games for their kids. We saw candidates or profiles of many of the characters in the game, left out of those for any kind of details about our primary protagonist. Instead, we got views of what I assume were some of the support characters. A female mechanic, an old burnt-out hippie, and a second-in-command bad guy who basically is being portrayed as Tom Cruise, an A-list celebrity who became a ranking member of a high council. A council. Ha, we didn't learn much about weapons or vehicles, we, uh, aside from the fact that the, they specifically mentioned the types of things we saw in Far Cry 3 and 4. Mm-hmm. ATVs, Jeeps, wings, wing suits of some sort, probably. Yeah. The yeah. overall feeling I got from the animated videos we saw is that they're really playing up the sense of dread. This is a small town and is filled with small town sensibilities. The kind of place where God's word is law. No word on multiplayer. Uh, most of what I saw was an eminently memorable, with the exception of a couple characters and the cool idea of pitting the protagonist against a branch Davidian-like cult. Most of, uh, anyways, as I said, a lot can change in the year, so please don't hold my feet to the fire. This has all changed. Wow, and he got like most of that shit right. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so he, he he definitely was there for it. This is leaks, folks. This is a generation of leaks that we live in. Anyone can do it. All you need is a throwaway Reddit account. <laughs> Honestly, it's, de- it's deserved if most most game companies are going to put out games that are technically unfinished and add DLC and all that nonsense. Any user. Um, this sounds exciting. This, sound, this sounds like it has great potential, but just as a lot of, at least the last Far Cry game and at least a few Far Cry, from, from you also as well, mm. that it's sort of, yeah, it's just, it reaches a repetitive sort of fort. At the end thing. of the day, it's just the same people in a different location following one person that you're going to find people rebelling against them. You're probably clunk yeah, climb yeah, shit yeah. and blah, 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 blah. So, so that's going to be their biggest challenge is to do basically what sort of Breath of the Wild. Troy Baker. <laughs> <laughs> just, get, dude, just get him for everything and you're good. <laughs> um, but like Breath of the Wild did something very great with shrines. They, mm-hmm. they made sure that not only sometimes getting to the shrine would be basically the shrine itself, but every shrine felt pretty different. I, I, I never felt that any shrine was the same even though that technically it's the same exact way you enter every fucking shrine mm-hmm. but it's just different puzzles. So if they can find a way to do a combination of that and Metal Gear Solid 5 where pretty much no matter if you no matter where you infiltrated it always felt different. Mm-hmm. Like In Metal Gear 5 you could go there there would be a place that would be basically on this giant cliffside yeah and it would be a gigantic fort and you had to climb up climb up climb up but then there would be other ones where it would be a like a giant like a a mini military base where maybe you'd probably get a helicopter Mm -hmm. to just bring in some supplies and stuff like that but it's also it's also like it also seconds as a prison it kind of happened in far cry 4 a few times that you try to like run into people's camps but like they kind of have the higher ground sometimes or like you have to use an elephant to bust in or you think it's you can walk in, but this is like a hundred landmines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was like fucked. That's awesome. Like <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah. love that. That's good variety to have. Mm, but, they, but you said even with Far Cry f- like four, mm, it's still sort of yeah. You like you don't feel like it's same open world thing. Mm-hmm. You're like hey, if you want to do it all, you can do it all. But uh, at the end of the day, you don't need every single camp. No, so I was true. like, well, going to the boss. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did all I can. I, I skinned enough bears and alligators for my item pouches. Yeah, search. so you could upgrade all your shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, they'll pro- I mean, they'll probably repeat that. I mean, ma- make sure they keep the, the same Far Cry formula. But yeah, ma- make sure if you're going to put it in a setting like this, it's, it's, it's well, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those things where, like, so Out- Outlast was was... Revered, at least the recent one, Outlast Two, was revered for its different take on a story and like the basically being sort of like a religious zealot and being really devoted to a cause in an obsessive way, which is cool. Yeah, that's that's the that's that's that is the man who who has said all this stuff. He knows a lot about the games he plays. Um, but uh, yeah, shouts out to Coney on Twitch. Coney's easy on Twitch. Uh, it's it's hard to not make an open word oh, open word blah, blah, blah. an open world game where you take down forts somewhat repetitive. It's just it's just very hard, especially depending on if you want how big you want to make your world. Yeah, like it just it's just hard to to uh, avoid the repetitiveness. Even like Shadow of Mordor, as much as I love that game, at some points felt repetitive. The only reason it never felt repetitive is that. I, I was going after different Uruks and, or, and Orcs and all that sort of stuff yeah. where because their skills differed so much 
that 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 in itself was something that made me feel it's like sort of the opposite of like Mega Man games mm-hmm. where it's like the boss is the reward and this one it's like it's like the boss or, or I'm sorry I guess the boss is still the reward yeah. sort of but the, like the fortress isn't all that interesting up until you fight the boss and yeah. it's like a crazy like awesome battle where you have to strategize against whatever he's good at and whatever he's bad against it's like the reverse of Mega Man almost yeah a little bit <laughs> a little but bit. we'll see will it be Red Dead Redemption 2 Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Hopefully a Japanese game, whether it be near Persona 5 for Game of the Year. The list only grows. Maybe Super Mario Odyssey can even join the fray. We will see. Dude, Game of the Year is going to be insane next year. Well, Colin, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me, ladies and gents, at twitch.tv slash bn underscore CJ Ferg. And you can find me on Twitter at the Ferg 91 where I frequently tweet about just the shit that's going on in my life. And where can they find you, good sir? You can find me on twitch.tv slash Togler <laughs> Choking on the mustache hair. And you can find me on Twitter, uh, Togolerg15, t- uh, retweeting people that talk about bread. You know, if you, you'll see. That's my dog. All right, y'all. Bye. Later, y'all.